I'm here in the high country of Tongass National Forest in Southeast Alaska, the largest national forest in the United States. In 1908, Theodore Roosevelt established this national forest at 17 million acres. To get an idea of how big this place is, about one third of all salmon that are caught on the west coast are hatched and reared in the rivers of this national forest. After spending a couple days up here chasing blacktail deer, the main thing on my mind is that I want to someday take my own son up here to have the same experience and hopefully to someday after that take my son's children up here. But it's going to take work on our part in order to preserve this pristine hunting country. Black-tailed deer rely on old growth forest. In the winter time, when conditions are harsh, snow gets deep, wind picks up, they'll migrate out of the high country like this down into the protection of heavy timber. They rely on the overstory for thermal protection and they rely on the understory for food. The old growth is essential in order for black-tailed deer to thrive. But here's the thing, for over 50 years, the residents of rural Southeast Alaska have relied on logging old growth timber to make their living. It's what has put food on their table and it's what puts lumber in our lumber yard. But in many respects, the golden age of old growth logging has passed. Today, there are precious few acres of old growth timber left. And in order for us to preserve the habitat that old growth provides, we need to work hard to shift local economies away from logging old growth and toward more sustainable practices. Job growth could come in many forms, through tourism, through sustainable hunting and fishing opportunities, even through things as simple as retooling old mills in order to handle smaller diameter timber taken off previously logged second growth areas. Or it could be things we haven't even thought of yet. It's gonna be a tough battle, but believe me, it's worth it. And if you want to find out more, go to the Theodore Roosevelt Conservation Partnership website at trcp.org.